Ayan. Hi everyone. Good evening. Praise God for that beautiful song by Pastor Bong. Um, nakakapandindig balahibo. Tama ba yung term na yan? Nakakapandindig balahibo. Praise God. Um, tonight, we're starting a new um, series as we go through our wind watch. Please don't miss. You can come because um, God is doing something new. Amen. And tonight, the title of my message is Through and Through. Okay? Praise God. Um, hold on. Let me see. Okay. Through and Through. This is coming from one of the popular verses that we, if you're from LGI, you, you know this. You've heard it several times before. And this is from... Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, but let me read it from the message version, and this is what it says. May God himself, the God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole, put you together, spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit for the coming of our master, Jesus Christ. The one who called you is completely dependable. If he said it, he will do it. Amen. The background of this verse is this. This was a double petition prayer blessing or benediction of the Apostle Paul to the church in Thessalonica. Did I pronounce that correctly? Thessalonica or Thessalonica? Whichever. <laughs> he was encouraging the young church to keep going despite hardship, persecution, and death. He prayed that the church be sanctified and preserved until the day that Christ come back, comes back. Amen. And this is a blessing, a benediction that we can also receive for us today. Amen po ba? We want that double petition benediction. <laughs> Nakatang twister ba yun? Double petition benediction. Because Paul was praying for us to be sanctified and preserved. And in fact, I was asking my dad, Pastor Art. Um, oh, Thess Thessalonica pala. Thessalonica. Ayan. Thank you, Pastor Chris, for correcting me. Anyway, so I asked my dad, who um, Pastor Art, who you know studied Greek and Hebrew, and I was asking him about this verse. Sabi ko, bakit meron dito parehong pareho yung meaning pero iba yung salitang ginamit. Sabi ko sa kanya. So I was asking him to to help me understand it, no. And he was saying, kasi ganon si Paul. Sabi niya ganon. The Apostle Paul was being emphatic. So kahit na malapit na yung meaning, inulit niya just to show that you know this is really what I'm praying for you. You know, pagka ganun pala tayo, di ba pagka ulit-ulit kang nagsasabi, talagang Lord, yun ang gusto kong mangyari. And because Paul was so eloquent, he could create words or put words together that actually mean the same thing. So this is a, a prayer that we can claim. Amen. And it is also applicable, I think, in every generation. No? Um, hardship, persecution, death, no? We're finally coming out, hopefully, no, uh, of this um, pandemic. No, there are so many talks of going to alert level one next month. No, and dami ng mga ganyang usapan. But I think this is still very much um, applicable to us. Amen. That uh, we would be sanctified and preserved. And usually, when we look at this verse, this is what we will discuss. No, um, sanctification. You know, making holy. Or preservation, but I want us to focus on this. May God Himself. This is how the verse started. May God Himself. And so tonight, as we take on this passage, First Thessalonians 5, 23 to 24, we will see who God is. Amen. It is actually um, telling us who God is. Amen. So are you excited through this? Prayer of Paul, of Apostle Paul, we can understand what God is doing and who he is. Amen? So for tonight, my first point is this. God is carefully thorough. God is carefully thorough. Ano bang ibig sabihin yan? No? Uh, don't worry, we will go through the meanings of these. Number one, thorough means executed without negligence or omissions. Complete, perfect, utter, having full command of mastery of an art, talent, etc. No? What does it mean when you are thorough? No? It means 
eksakto, no? talagang sinusuyod mo lahat ng aspeto pag may ginagawa ka. No? Kung bagay ka yung quality control. Di ba ganun yan? Sa quality control, you have to look at every aspect no? to make sure na pasado itong, itong tinitingnan mong product. No? So thorough. No? Ito yung, ito yung uh, alam, naalala ko na sinasabi lagi ni Pastor Min sa akin dati. No? Pinapagalitan niya ako. Bakit pinapasa mo sa akin na marami pa ring ano, marami pa ring ano to? Uh, mistake sa ano yon yung mga typo. Typo. Yon, mga typo. That means you're not thorough. So, oh, ang, ang ano ano, talagang nakaka. It's still a lesson that I continue to to learn until today, no. So, when you are thorough, it means wala kang na neglect yung ay sorry Pastor Min, hindi ko pala nabasa, hindi ko pala nakita or something like that, no. You are thorough and brothers and sisters This is what we can, you know this verse very well, no? Sabi sa Psalm 139.14, I will praise you for you have made me with fear and wonder. Yung fearfully and wonderfully made, no? Marvelous are your works and you know me completely. God is very thorough. Alam niya, from your cells to your tissues to your chromosomes, no? To your, every part of your body. He knew what race you would be. No, sinadya niya na in 2022, we would be here in this room so we can hear this. Alam niya, planado. You know, sometimes when I um, am uh, low, yung parang, Lord, you know, meron kang mga, hindi naman struggle eh. Yung parang, Lord, sana ganito, bakit hindi pa ganito nangyayari, ganyan. No? And then, um, God says, no, in, in His Word, you'll see that He is thorough. Sabi ko, kung thorough ka, God, ibig sabihin itong nangyayaring to alam mo. no Hindi hindi to yung, ay, di ko alam na mangyayari yan sa'yo, Kuki, kawawa ka naman, sorry. You know, hindi ganun si God. He is thorough. Everything that He um, did or He does in our lives, no lahat yon tiningnan niya. Thorough si God. Now, there's another word dun sa sinabi ko, God is carefully thorough. So, Thorough na nga, careful pa. Ano ba yung careful? Careful means in a cautious way, with attention to possible risks and dangers. Inisip ni God. Ako maaalangalin yung anak ko dyan. Hindi ko siya hahayaan to go through that kind of thing. Ito, malalagpasan niya ito. No? God knows. He is attentive. He sees everything. Amen? Nakikita niya, planado siya, seryoso, uh, sigurado siya. No? And look at this, ito yung favorite ko. In a thorough, attentive, or painstaking way. Alam niyo ba yung painstaking? Sa ano pa lang, no? sa salita pa lang, masakit. <laughs> yung ulit-ulit, ano ba to? Alam mo yon? I remember si um, Pastor Chris and si Pastor Min were telling us no yung pagka dati no sa accounting way way back sabi niya meron kaming ka church 50 cents hinahanap isa-isa hindi sila matutulog painstakingly amen that's what painstakingly mean yung parang pwede ba i-x na lang natin to kaliit-liit na lang nitong detalyeng to pwede bang ano na lang natin burahin na lang natin or hindi eh kasi magdidisbalanse pag hindi mo pag hindi mo nahanap yung 50 cents na yon. Amen po ba? Painstaking. Ang sakit. U- ulit-ulit. Ang ganda-ganda na nung gawa ko, kaso nga lang nagkamali, ulit ka ulit. You know what I mean? It's it's very, um, kahit, kahit uh, masakit, gagawin mo. Kasi you are careful. No? Sabi dito, giving thought to avoiding errors or omissions. Ayaw ni God magkamali. Hindi nagkakamali si God. Amen po ba? But you know, when we are going through rough times in our lives, no, parang parang nagkamali yata si God sa ginawa niya sa atin. Nagkamali yata si God. But when we look at this verse, it says that, yeah, He is painstakingly thorough, careful, meticuloso, detalye. Sabi nga ni Tita Bem dito, but, ano, binubuting-ting. Very small details, no? Kada detalye, tinitingnan ni God. No? How, how, how awesome is that to know that this God that we love, that this God whom we trust, is carefully thorough. Amen? 
Yes, yeah, si Brother Denmark but too wise to be mistaken. Hindi, kasi he will go through it and we know that kaya niya yung pain. No? He can, he can um, ano yun? okay lang na magsasacrifice siya, masaktan siya para lang we will not go through that kind of pain. Sabi ni God, ako na lang, ako na lang maghihirap kesa kayo pa ang maghirap. Painstakingly, very careful, no? Ganon si God. Hindi tayo ganon. Si God, ganon. <laughs> Amen ba? No, we are, um, yeah, He is really trying to make sure that uh, we are protected. Sabi nga, avoiding errors or omissions so that you don't miss anything. You know, sometimes people think, si God, He lets us miss things, but no. Look at this verse. Sabi dito, this is the um, message version, no? Hindi natin nakikita yung word na sanctify dito kasi yung sanctify is already, um, anong tawag ito? Um, explained or uh, ang ginamit dito is make you holy. That's what it means to sanctify you, no? Making you holy. And, uh, in, and yes, cleansing you. Ang sabi dito, put you together, spirit, soul and body no spirit soul and body and this is if i'm not mistaken no, one of the few times if not the only time na nakikita yung tatlong tatlong terms na yan kasi usually in the bible it's either soul and spirit no but here paul was saying spirit soul and body and let's look let's look at what he meant when he said spirit or pneuma or numa wala pa lang p Numa, pero may parang ano lang, numa. It means the rational part of man, the power of perceiving and grasping divine and eternal things, and upon which the Spirit of God exerts its influence. Doon pala natin nare-receive yung divine and eternal things. No? And sometimes, uh, uh, most of the time actually, the Spirit is the one neglected. Bakit? Hindi siya nakikita eh. Hindi mo alam, no? Like me, I was going on with my life. Until I was in my, ano ba, 20s? Or di naman, 19? Yeah, I was 19 or 20. And I didn't know that my spirit was dead. I didn't know no, that I wasn't born again. Akala ko, I was going to church. You know, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a church person. I'm active, yun yung term. No? I'm active. But apparently, no, hindi pala. So I, I didn't know because I didn't see. All I could see was the outward expression of me going to church, me kneeling down, me closing my eyes, me, you know, crying sometimes and all that, no? But I didn't see it. But this is the part of us, no? That is grasping these eternal things. Ito yung nabubuhay kapag tayo ay nabuborn again. Ito yung mag -e ensure na tayo ay mapupunta sa langit. Pangalawa, soul or psuke. And this is where we get the word psyche or psychology no this is the human soul the soul as the seat of affections and will the self a human person an individual that's what makes you you no pare pareho tayong may ulo may tenga may may kamay pero bakit iba ka aside from your physical uh, na, na itsura it's your personality it's your individuality no it's it's your qualities no that's the soul and we have body, soma, meaning the physical body. Ito yung actually madaling, madaling, ano, madaling, madaling makilala kasi ito yung nakikita natin. And this is actually what LGI's ministry is all about. This is the total person. No? Uh, let me show you uh, a screenshot of how we introduce ourselves usually pag nagsiseminar kami. Dati, before, before COVID, no, we would go out to certain... Um, to corporations, give seminars, and this is how we would introduce ourselves. No? Life Growth Inc. is a non-stop, non-profit organization established in 2003, managed by Christians committed to help develop the total person, spirit, soul, and body. Spirit, soul, and body. This has always been um, LGI's uh, ano to? Um, ministry. No? spirit soul and body and i'm so excited because you know we have been growing since we started in 2003 
And ang dami na ding nadadagdag. Dati, ano lang, ano lang um, LBCM, Pastor Min, yun pa yung term, no? yung, which is the IBS. And then, wow, nagkaroon ng Windwatch. Una, before Windwatch, PLS. Ngayon, ang dami-dami na. No? And I'm so blessed because this year in 2022, we can expect so many more new things that's happening. And uh, we really have a tripartite or total person ministry. For the so for the spirit, we have the fivefold ministry institute. No, jaan yung ating um, everything that we have our Bible courses, our APT, uh, ano, apostolic prophetic training. Soon, I think it was announced earlier, school of visions and miracles. No, jaan lahat. No, the fivefold ministry. Yeah, the fivefold ministry. Um, and then yung prophetic, apostolic, pastoral. Etc. No? So, the kingdom of God. Of course, the kingdom of God. We should not forget ever, ever, ever. Forgive me, Pastor Min. The kingdom of God is under there. No? So, yeah, no, marami tayo. Almost all na experience nyo, wind watch, it's all there. But um, this year, uh, it's a body naman. No? We also have our healing. Healing. And uh, I was um, reminded by Pastor Min, we no longer pray for healing. Now we will be praying for miracles, no? And ang pinagpipray natin dyan yung katawan natin. And actually, we have seen so many um, miracles. Amen? I can see in my screen si Tita Lilia. Tita Lilia, ikaw yung nakikita ko ngayon dun sa aking uh, view. And I remember she came to the healing rooms, no? And I think it was um, carp uh, carpal tunnel. Is that it? Carpal tunnel, no? And uh, she couldn't move it. She couldn't raise it. The wrist, tama ba? Nag-action nag si Tita. Ayan, nakikita ko. Thank you for the coaching. No? Yung wrist niya, hindi niya magalaw, etc. Et she came in and after, she was in so much pain. After nag-pray kami, wow, nagagalaw na niya. No? Parang naging zero ba yun, Tita? Or something like that. No? From, from like uh, 10 or naging 8. Naging, hanggang naging zero. The pain level, no? She's not the only one. I, I I remember there was one parang autoimmune disease pa yon, no? She's in she's in um tawag ito, she's in Palawan, she's a missionary and she was feeling really down already, you know, it was affecting her because ni siya makatayo, you know? I, I forgot um Tita Tet, baka naaalala mo yung disease na yon. I forgot kung ano si Tita Tet ka kasama ko sa room yan eh, sa healing room si Tita Tet. Baka pwede mo akong i-i-message Tita Tet, nakalimutan ko yung pangalan nung nung disease na yon no and we prayed for and it was her, she came she messaged me oh ito na si T, pastor vida may isa pa to parang si v, rheumatoid arthritis there you go kailangan pangalan pangalanan natin ah, she's here hindi ako nakapagpaalam that's why i didn't i didn't say her name so she's here i can see her in in the in the chat anyway so sister, no, I'm sharing your your testimony part of it, no. And then yun nga, no, she she was really feeling down. And actually, she messaged me because sabi niya, I really want to be prayed for sa healing rooms. So I was so blessed, sabi ko, you know, it's your faith. I believe we coming lahat na no, the prayer leaders. We were praying for her. And the una na, that first time she came, alam ko parang nagalaw na niya yata yung feet niya, di ba? Parang ganun, no? So, amazing now she's back. Parang walang nangyari, nagmi-minister. Ayan, Tita Teta, thank you for the coaching. She couldn't raise her feet, no? But at the end of the night when we were praying, she was able to. She came back again and she got better until hindi siya bumalik. And we don't take it against her because yun ang gusto namin sa healing room. Wala, huwag na kayong bumalik, you know? Minsan nga when we talk about schedules, okay, our schedule is on ano, Friday, it's ganito. Gan Pero parang please don't come back. Meaning, we don't want you to come back. We don't want you to be sick. Amen? Yeah, so ito na si Tita Tetsu saying, slowly first the knees, then she can raise it slowly. It was really amazing. We were amazed na miracle talaga. Ito na, mga nagko-coach sa akin, si Pastor Vida, the swelling on her foot was visible and then it went down, no? This is physical healing. Hindi lang to mga I feel peace. I mean, not that I'm belittling the, the peace, of course, no? But this is actual healing that we are seeing with our eyes. Miracles, no? So, so yan na, no? We have the, uh, for the soul, for the body, and we're so excited. We're going to tell you more about it as the, the months go by, the weeks go by. But we're going to have the, the newest one of LGI is the LGI, baka magkamali ako sa pangalan na, the LGI Rest and Restoration Center 
a Christian support program. Ayan, tama no? Tama yung aking sinabi, Pastor Min, no? So we will be we will be um this is this is not for rehabilitation or more recovery, but it's a support program, no? to help our brothers and sisters. Yes, rest and restorations. Akala ko baka may mali akong sinasabi. Rest and restoration where um yeah, we want to support you in your healing journey. Ayan. So I don't want to give anything too much away, no, pero that will be yun nga for the soul. So yes, we are tripartite and we want to serve the total person. Ay excited na si Pastor Dave, Pastor Bean. Ayan na ang ating mga mga ano, mga mag uh, ano mag mga magmi-minister, no? Yeah, we will have uh, faith coaches. Mga faith coach. Hindi ko sana sasabihin, Pastor Min, pero dahil sinabi mo na, ayan na. Pag ikaw ang nagsabi, okay lang. Hindi yun. <laughs> Kasi pag ako nagsabi, baka, why did you say that? Dapat yun ang sabi ni Delise, Odi. At least kung ikaw nagsabi, okay lang. Pwede, you are forgiven, no? So, yeah, we're going to have even the basic wellness assessments. Ano pa ba yun? Ah, uh, Nasaan na ba si... Come as you are sessions. Yes, the come as you are sessions. Ayan, nasaan na ba yung aking assistant director dito na feed me some of these things. But anyway, so we're so excited, no? And we are um, really moving into this total person ministry. And why? Because that's what God wants to do. Ayan, excited na sila. How to join? Teka lang, ano ah, Sheila ha? Iaano namin to. I-launch namin. We will launch it, no? But this is real. Oh, si Ate Celia also. Hi, Ate Celia. So we're so excited because it's a support program, a Christian support program. Nako, ito na, I'm in. Pastor, ano ba ito? Ginawa ko bang launch natin? So sorry. But anyway, going back, no? I will attend. Oh my. Okay. So... So, or hindi siya seminars, ano siya, mga sessions, ayan, so mga, patikim lang on how to yeah, get like a faith coaching, ayan, care sessions, basic assessment, and one-on-one -on -one debriefing, o yan. So, yan yung mga gagawin natin because we are three in one. No, sometimes, um, we, we compartmentalize a lot of things. And we think that when we're healed in the body, we're healed in the spirit. But no, no, we are, no, there are parts of us. And yes, we neglect it. We, I remember when I got sick, no, parang nauna yung, uh, I, I didn't have time to really feel bad and sorrowful and all that. Basta gusto ko lang gumaling, no? And part of my part of my treatment, no, because nga I lost my I lost a part of me in an operation. I had a mastectomy, so may kasama talagang psychiatric help. So I had a psychiatrist talking to me and assessing me. So okay na finally nakalabas na ako, no. And then that's when I felt the blues. Do na ako tinamaan, no. That's when I reached out. When I was in recovery, actually, when you recover, mas mahirap. Mas mahirap ang recovery. Kasi parang back to normal na, pero hindi ka normal. That's how I would describe it. Eh. You're back to normal, but you're not normal. You're not the same. Unlike nung nandun ka sa, ano, sa ospital, gusto ko lang makalabas ng ospital. O nakalabas ka na, parang wait lang, things are so topsy-turvy. You know? And so, that, sabi nga nung, nung doctor sa akin, you know, kasi you were in survival mode. So all you just needed to do was to live. And finally, you're alive. Now you need to have that quality of life, and you don't know where to start, no. So that that's what happened. No, I was healed in my in my body. My spirit was strong, but my soul was weak. My soul was grappling. Ano ba ako? Sino ba ako? Ano bang gagawin ko ngayon? Pwede pa ba ako magcontinue? Ano bang ano bang buhay ang meron para sa you know things like that. Those are the questions I had in my mind. So my body was well. My spirit was well. No, I never lost my faith, but my soul was suffering. No? Yes, the emotions, you know, all these things. Na, who am I now? <laughs> what kind of a person am I? Bawas na ako. Mga ganon, no? things like that. So we are um, three in one. And sometimes, yes, hindi naman ako nag-depression, pero they were pre ano, preventing me from getting into that. No? So um, let's understand it, mga kapatid, no? That you can be spiritually strong, but your emotions are suffering. No, let's not, let's not, ano tawag nito? Let's not put it down. Ay, wala kang faith. 
bakit ganyan ka? Wala kang faith. Hindi po may faith po ako, kaso nga lang, hirap yung psyche ko eh. Hirap yung soul ko. Kailangan, kailangan ng healing ng soul ko. Kasi yung spirit ko is healed, yung body ko is healed, pero yung soul ko hindi siya healed. Amen? And so that's why we want to give a ministry that is, we want to be a ministry. We want to minister to the total person. No? And of course, we, we are not doctors. We are not, wala, no? but we want to, kaya nga sabi namin, we're a Christian support program because we are three but one. Parang kapi lang po yan, no? three but three in one. No? You are one, pero hindi mo na ma- hindi mo na minsan ma ano eh ma separate kasi it affects you it affects all of you no yan o oh sabi ni pastor Vida may wag over spiritualize need to acknowledge the needs of the soul also for holistic growth no so tuloy tuloy ako mag WK no no God was speaking to me tuloy tuloy ng quiet time ko but I had those things that I needed to process no so my soul needed to heal also anyway so amen no ah <laughs> so yun na, no? we are uh, Christians committed to help develop the total person in spirit, soul, and body. No? So sabi ni, ni Paul, ang prayer niya, no? the first part ng uh, yung kanyang double petition benediction, that God would make us whole, put us together. No? Put us together. Kasi minsan pala, yun nga, nanineglect mo yung isang part of you. Of course, that's part of you, no? Hindi natin makakompartmentalize. No? They're all connected. But the problem is sometimes they're not in harmony. They're in disarray. Your, your spirit, you know that this is what God wants. But your heart, your mind wants something else. Naglalaban sila. Amen? And so that's what Jesus Well, that's what Paul was saying that Jesus would do. He would make us whole and put us together to, to, to uh, visualize ganito ang itsura. There is harmony, no? And if you can see the symbols, ayan yung spirit, the inner, inner part of us. And then sa soul, there are two parts, no? The, the heart or the emotions and the mind, the will, no? Yung ating intellect, yung mga ganyan, no? So, Yeah, kami na miss lang ako. So dapat total person. And God was yes, mental and emotional issues. And God was saying, uh, and 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 Paul rather was saying that God would make us whole, aligned everything with Jesus at the center. Your body, no? That we we will we will take care of our bodies. Hindi yung anyway. Si God, hihil naman tayo pagka ano, pwede akong kumain ng taba, pwede akong kumain ng maraming ano, sugar, you know, or the sins against the body, no? Yung sexual sins. You can't pretend that I'm okay with God but you continue to do with your sexual sins, no? In in secret because nobody sees it, no? You're, you're you're in church, you're in your care group, you're OSG. But behind closed doors, there's something happening that is actually a sin already. Right? And so this is what Paul was saying. Ito yung blessing na nire-release niya. And sinasabi niya, God himself make you holy and whole, put you together, spirit, soul, and body. Buong buo. In harmony. Aligned. No? So you're all, with Jesus at the center. Your body, <laughs> you are taking care of your body your thoughts, your emotions, and of course, your spirit aligned, wanting to do the will of God. Amen? Hindi yung gusto ko yung will ni God, pero ito yung ginagawa ko in, in, in closed doors, di ba? Amen, Tita Tet, his body was broken to make us whole. Remember, God will painstakingly put you together to make you whole, no matter how difficult it is. He will consider everything about you, every part of you. He will make you complete and whole, a total person aligned with his purposes. He will put you together, no? complete, whole, aligned. This is our God. He is carefully thorough. Ito ang gagawin niya. 
no? Hindi niya hahayaan na ang okay lang sa atin yung spirit. Hindi niya hahayaan yun. It should connect everything, your heart, your mind, your body with one single purpose, no? To live as God wants us to live. Amen? Wala siyang imi-miss out. Walang maiiwan. Buong buo. Amen? Second point for tonight is God is continuously working. Continuously working. You know that song? I think everybody knows that song, Waymaker. I think Pastor Gurley, I saw Pastor Gurley, that was part of her message nung PLS, no? yung uh, that song, Waymaker, Miracle Worker. Even when we don't see it, He is working. He is working. Amen? You know, continuously, actually, Pastor Min and I, ano ba, yung, ano ba yung tama? Continuously or continually? When you say continually pala, it means very often and habitual. But continuously means without interruption or cessation or unceasingly. So usually, they're actually medyo synonym, pero pag sinabi mong continually, parang habit lang, often, ganyan. Pero kay God, hindi to mitigil. Amen. Tulad ng balita, sabi, hindi tumitigil ang balita, si God hindi tumitigil sa kanyang ginagawa. The way He will put you together, oy, yung spirit, soul, and body uh, disaligned, up, 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 kailang, hindi siya one shot lang na, o oh, tapos na yung work ko sa'yo, grabe ka naman. Di ba? Yung parang sobra naman tong makakain ng oras. Hindi. He will painstakingly do it. He will continuously work in us. We know it, brothers and sisters, when we became born again, hindi pa tapos. Hindi pa tayo perfect. Amen po ba? Tingnan nga natin ang mga katapat natin. Perfect. Sarili mo, tingnan mo. Are we perfect? No, we're not. I'd be the first one to say I'm so far from perfect. No? So, so far. But praise God because God, He is working. Amen? Continuously na, Hi, Ate Jo! Ate Jo is here! Ate Jo Peralta! Praise God! <laughs> There's a joke. Oh my gosh. Hi Ate Jo, praise God. No, sorry na sa, sa chat ko po kasi nakikita ilan ba tayo ngayon, no? There's 218 in the room. I cannot see everyone, but pag lumalabas po sa chat, kaya po ginagamit, no? Pasensya na po baka isipin niyo na favoritism. Nakikita 'yun lang pong nakikita ko sa chat, no? Kaya pag ano, pwede po kayong mag magsulat diyan and uh, yeah. So, continuously working. Scripture says He will make you holy. Ito na yung sanctify you, no? Through and through and make you whole. That's the scripture. He will make us holy and make us whole. So what does it mean to sanctify or to make holy, no? Ito yung word na ginamit sa Greek, hagiatso. And it means, ayun na, to make holy, consecrate, sanctify. And the usage is, I make holy Treat as holy, set apart as holy, sanctify, hollow, purify. And sometimes you look at these words and you say, "This is not me." Amen. Can you can you can you uh, ano to, relate with me? You look at these words: holy, set apart, consecrated, diba? Pero ako ba yun, Lord? Ako ba yun? Ako ba si holy? Alam ko hindi ako holy. Alam ko nagalit ako kanina sa sa isang situation na asara ko kanina alam mo yon i have thoughts in my mind na pag naiinis ako hindi ko lang sinasabi pero may naiisip ako you know so how could this be me no but this is the good thing here to make holy tingnan niyo yung first definition dito to make holy god is making us holy hindi pa tayo niyan he is purifying us Amen. He set us apart so that He can continue to make us holy. From the beginning, you know, when Pastor Art was explaining it to me, sabi niya, it's like Alpha and the Omega. From the beginning, alam na niya. And He will complete the work to make you holy till the very, very end. Amen. Sinong gusto nun? Ako gusto ko yun. I want that work of God in my life. Remember, God is committed to our sanctification. Thank you for the raised hand, Pastor Esther. No? 
Sanctification meaning making us holy, purifying us, cleansing us. He will keep working until we are made holy through and through in all levels. No? All levels yan. No? Kung ano mang baitang tayo, basta lahat-lahat, buong, buong pagkatao natin. In, he will continue to work until he reaches his end goal of entire sanctification or holy ka na talaga. Holy and whole. He will make sure we are holy in spirit, soul, and body, whole and unbroken. And then you will ask me, but Pastor Cookie, I am broken. I am broken. You know, just, just listening to you now, I saw, oh my, my body, there is a, a struggle, an issue. In my soul, there is a struggle. In my spirit, well, praise God, brothers and sisters. I'd like to share with you no, something. And this is what God does to us. This is not, um, I, I heard this from a preacher. Um, this is in um, last last year. And I want to share it with all of you as well. No? This is what we call the art of kintsugi. No? This is the Jap it's a Japanese uh, artwork. And ano bang nangyayari with uh, kintsugi, no? It says here, kintsugi is the Japanese art of putting broken pottery pieces back together with gold. Built on the idea that in embracing flaws and perfection, imperfections, you can create a, an even stronger, more beautiful piece of art. Every break is unique and instead of repairing an item like new, the 400-year-old technique usually highlights the scars as a part of the design. And this is what God does in our lives, brothers and sisters. Broken. And He doesn't throw us away. Amen? Alam nyo yon, we are not disposable kay God. Isn't that wonderful? In a world where everything is disposable nowadays, no? Parang, ay, even electronic devices, no? In Japan, they just throw it out. They put it in the trash. I remember si Carmina was telling us, nilalagay lang nila dyan sa parang trash, ano nila, no? But we are not disposable. Amen? Sabihin mo nga sa sarili mo, I am not disposable. God is not going to say and look at you and say, ay, masyado na tong broken. Tapon ko na lang to. Sa next one na lang ako mag magko-concentrate. That's not God. Amen, Pastor Golda. We are not, hindi tayo patapon. Yes, Pastor Esther, I am valuable. That's why God is saying, I will put you back together. No matter how broken you might, you may seem to be. No? That's what God does. And this is not, naisip ko nga, no? parang it's a Japanese, 400-year-old uh, Japanese practice. But I'm thinking, this is from the beginning of time when creation fell. Diba? The moment that creation fell, God was already in his kintsugi mode, putting us back together. Amen? Using this as a metaphor for healing ourselves, this is from the same article, no? Um, teaches us an important lesson. Sometimes in the process of repairing things that have broken, we actually create something more unique, beautiful, and resilient. The word kintsugi means joining with gold. Amen? And that's why, kapag ka kinintsugi ka na, I'm sorry, pangit ng term ko, when you are joined together, no, you are go through the process of kintsugi, you are more expensive. That's right, no? Mas mahal ka na with gold. Grabe. And this is what happens to us, mga kapatid. In, in a bigger scope, no, this is what God does to us. The broken pieces He puts back together with gold. Tama, Brother Denmark, may added value. And that is the work of God. Yung gold. Kasi parang, Lord, paano nangyari yun? Isn't it so beautiful how God will use something valuable to put back together something that seems parang, ay, patapon na to, parang mas sira na, wala na mangyayari, wala nang future. Look at this beautiful um, artwork here, no? 
Kung plato lang siya, plato lang siya kakainan mo. Pero ngayon, na it is now a piece of art with the gold. Hindi mo lang siya basta-basta kakainan. Kaya nga, you are now holy, set apart. Amen? You are no longer ordinary or dun sa isang teaching ni Pastor Min, ignoble. <laughs> Hindi ka na ignoble, no? Dun sa mga old timers natin sa Winwatch, if you remember that that name. Hindi ka na kakainan na lang ng basta-basta. I-display ka na. Amen? And sometimes, you know, we feel so bad when we're broken. Nakakahiya, Lord. But you know, God will put you together with gold by His whole own hands so that people can see. You know why? Because everyone breaks. Everyone is broken. And when they see you put back together, it speaks to the it speaks of the artist and that is God. Paano? Paano ka na pag paano ka na balik? You know, uh, my sister, she used to work with uh, women, uh, ano bang tawag doon? Rescued women from those who were sex trafficked. And can you imagine the damage body, soul and spirit to those women? And if you think about it, it's uh, irreversible. Parang, you know, all those years of being, you know, human traffic. There's no other life for them. Sabi nga ng sister ko, sabi ni Meryl, no? Um, that's what's hard. Sometimes they just want to go back because that's what's easy. Hmm? But that's the thing, brothers and sisters, with God, He makes you totally different. Nobody is beyond repair. Pero Pastor Cookie talagang parang bubog na lang eh. Kapatid, sabi ni God, He will put you together. Spirit, soul, and body. Amen, sabi ni Pastor Chris. God made my scars look wonderful. Nag-appreciate pa yung value mo. Amen ba? Alam nyo, yun yung like ko iniisip. No? Nung kung kailan nawalan na ako ng isang parte sa katawan ko, doon naman ako mas nai-invite mag-speak. <laughs> no? Parang because I, I can speak about healing. That really opened the, the door wide for me. No? These people na hindi ko kilala would just invite. Paano nyo nalaman kung ano nangyari sa akin? Hindi ko alam. Basta nag invite invite lang sila. Amen? Because... That's what God does. He will put us back together. He makes us holy. No, yun na yung holy, no? Set apart. Iba ka na. Hindi ka na kakainan na lang, hindi ka na lang simpleng plato ang kakainan ng fried chicken. Amen. Naka-display ka na doon sa bahay. You're displayed in the house of God for the people of God to see and even those who are not yet inside the house of God. Amen. So this is God. Imagine these are God's hands and you are the bowl. No? God himself who makes everything holy and whole. Make you holy and whole. Put you together spirit, soul, and body, and keep you fit. He will keep you fit. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, hindi niya hahayaan na masira ka ulit. Ipipreserve ka niya. You know the word preserve? Hindi ko na nailagay dito. It means, he, uh, it means you are, uh, ano to? Preventing decay. Isn't that so powerful? In a world that is decaying, we are the only ones who are not decaying because of God. Because He Himself will do it. He Himself is doing it. Amen. Ganda naman ito, Pastor Chris. God knows how to make us look beautiful with our brokenness. Tingnan mo, no? For every break, for every broken piece, there is gold putting you together. Mas, mas, mahal, mas valuable ka pa kasi mas marami kang gold. Tama ba? And sometimes you feel, gusto ko yung hindi masyadong broken, yung ano lang, konti lang kasi ano. Sometimes you can't help it. We still live in a world that is fallen. Amen? But God can make you new. 
You know, we've been talking about that in PLS, di ba? Behold, God is doing something new. And sometimes, that new is still you, but He has already put the pieces together. Amen? The work of restoration. Rest, LGI Rest and Restoration Center. <laughs> Para maipasok lang. <laughs> Ayan, excited na kami. Amen? So when things get broken, we are so fond of asking the question, why? Lord, why did this happen? Why did you allow this? Why did you allow COVID? Why did you allow that I would lose my loved one? Why did you allow that my business would close? Why did you allow? Why, 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 why? And we've seen it time and time in scripture, unfortunately, that God doesn't often answer this question. Amen? Case in point, si Job. Di ba? Sabi ni Job, bakit ganito? Why did you allow this? You know, I was serving you, etc., etc. And what was, God answer, what was God's answer to him? Nasan ka? Nasan ka nung ginagawa ko to? No? And Job said, I cover my mouth. What's the, what, what is the, the bottom line? God never answered the question. But see, I believe, brothers and sisters, that God wants us to ask a different question. And that is, how? Instead of asking why, let's ask how. God, I'm so broken. How? How are you going to restore me? And when you ask that question, he will always have an answer. Why? Because God is a God. You know, yesterday I was listening to a sermon. Sabi, God is a lifter. No, He lifts you up. God is a healer. And God brings you to your new season. He, he's a bringer. No, para lang patay, para terno, terno. A lifter, a healer, and a bringer. No, ako na lang magkocoin ng word na yun. Why? Because when you ask how, he knows that you are, ano, you are um, with him in his work. You are going to allow him to work. How, Lord? Sabi ni God, let me show you. This is what we're gonna do. One step at a time. Amen? Oh, ano ba to, Frida? Remembering the song lyrics, I let go the need to know why because you know better than I. True. Amen. Beautiful, Frida. No? So when you are tempted to ask why, ask how. Because God is a God of solutions. Amen. And when you ask how, thank you, Pastor Rosie, he, you are inviting the God of solutions to come. Don't ask why, ask how. Because God can put you back together again. Walang imposible kay God. So kapatid, if you are still asking why, no, I invite you to ask how. Amen. You know, like for example, no, like uh, kami sa LGI, hindi na, why Lord? Hindi na kami, hindi na, wala nang offering, why? Ang tanong, namin, ang tanong namin kay God, how? How do you want us to keep going in this time? And God uh, released to us, okay, mag ano kayo, transition to, to ano to, to online and, that was the how. So did we need to know why God allowed the pandemic? No, we just needed to know the how. And we, we survived, then we thrive. We keep going forward. Amen. You don't need to know the you don't need to know the why's actually. You just need to go to know the how. And when you know the how, you can move forward. Yes, that's how we will get through. And then after some time, paglingon mo ah. Okay, now I understand. Ikaw na yung makakaintindi. Hindi, mo na, hindi nasasagutin ni God yung how, why mo. Maiintindihan mo na lang yung purpose niya. Ang importante, you have moved forward. He has brought you to the next stage of your life. Amen, brothers and sisters? Amen, no? How? Amen? So I, I encourage you, no? Pag may question ka kay God, ask how. How, Lord? Kaya ang sagot ng LGI sa'yo, pagpa-WK ka na. You ask God. Di ba? Meron akong problema, Lord. Instead of saying, Lord, ba't ako may problema? Ang tanong mo, Lord, anong solution? How do I get out of it? And you know what? God will always answer you. I've never, never in this uh, time na I've been in LGI na walang sabi ni God, hindi kanya sa, wala daw eh, walang solusyon. Sorry na lang. May ganun ba, Pastor? Me? Never, never. You know, because God is, yun na nga, a miracle worker. But that is an answer to how. It's not an answer to why. 
Amen. No more why, just how. Tama. Oh, amen. How na lang tayo. How do I move forward? How do I get over this? And God will reveal it to you. And God will show you what you need to do. And you just need to participate. And step by step, yun. Di ba? Amen? So that's our God. Last but not the least, God is completely dependable. No? Kaya ako sinasabi, ma- malakas ang loob ko sabihin, you ask how, kasi alam ko sasagutin ka ni God on how to do it. I'm sure. You know, God is like that. Si God, mahilig sa project. Amen ba? Yung parang, Lord, how? Ganito, ganito gagawin natin. Ganyan si God. Pansin nyo, itong gagawin natin. Ito gagawin mo, ito gagawin ko. Ganon si God. Because He is complete and He is completely dependable. Let's look at this. Sabi dito, let me read the whole verse, the whole passage again. Da- dalawang verse lang tayo tonight, but it's so rich. May God Himself, again, starts with God. Everything starts with God. The God who makes everything holy and whole, make you holy and whole, put you together, spirit, soul, and body, the total person, tripartite, and keep you fit for the coming of our Master Jesus Christ. Hindi niya hahayaan that you will stay broken. Amen? And look at this. The one who called you is completely dependable. And look at this. It's so beautiful. If He said it, He will do it. Amen. Amen. If He said it, He'll Amen. do it. <clears throat> no, hindi na yung, ay, uh, sigurado ba tayo dyan? Kasi sinabi na niya. If He said it, He will do it. Brothers and sisters, soak in that. I'll give you a few moments to soak in that. No, The one who called you is completely dependable. If He Amen. said it, He'll do it. Kapatid, how many promises has God given you? Did He promise you healing? Did He promise provision? If He said it, He'll do it. Amen. If He promised you a future, He'll do it. Pag siya nagsabi, He will do it. Mangyayari. Amen. Mang- Ang ganda nun, Pastor S. Pag siya nagsabi, mangyayari. O, di ba? Ang ganda. Rhyming. Thank you, Pastor Esther. Pag siya nagsabi, mangyayari. Amen. I can see all these people, Pastor Golda, Ate Mabel, Ate Liza, you know, uh, Sister Joanne, April, Pastor Vida May. He'll do it. Remember, our carefully thorough and continuously working God is completely dependable. Yan na yung three points natin, no? Our carefully thorough and continuously working God is completely dependable. He will continue to work in us sanctify us and make us holy, put us together to make us whole, He will do it so that we will be, sorry, we will be holy and whole through and through, fit and ready for Christ's return. He Himself will do it, not angels or anyone else but Him. Okay, ko lang yung B. Sorry, ayan. Baka screenshot nyo eh. Yun yung nahihiya ako pag screenshot as mali. <laughs> Amen. He will do it. He will do it so that we will be holy and whole through and through. No? Sagad, sagad. Fit and ready for Christ's return. He himself will do it. Not angels. Yung parang, hindi niya i-delegate yun. Why? Because we're too precious for, it to, for us to be delegated. He himself will do it. If he said it, he will do it. Amen. Pag siyang nagsabi, mangyayari. Dapat meron din akong translation. No? Pag siyang nagsabi, mangyayari. <laughs> Amen. 